Yo, Saturnalia, my comrades, and welcome to another random Rue Day on Christmas Eve. And for those of you who don't know, which is probably most of you, wait, maybe all of you, Saturnalia is a Roman holiday that occurs around this time of year. And, yeah, because I take Latin, Latin's a glorious language, and, yeah, Better than Spanish, and French, and German, because it's civilized. And tyrant- wait, no, not tyrannical, because Romans didn't exactly like tyrants. Wait a minute. Good thing Romans don't exist right now! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was a plus two. Should have known that, because I was like, you know, my first solve. And this is like my third attempt at recording this. Just gonna- wait. Just disregard the past few words that I just said. <laughs> this definitely isn't my third attempt. Because, yeah. You know, actually, don't disregard that. You know, you know, in my first random rude days, I said that there may be multiple attempts at the voice recording part. And so I am just using that rule to the best advantage for myself. Mostly because I set the rule, which means that I can use it however way I, I like. And actually there isn't really much... Wait, actually I've already broken a rule of random Rue Day. Solving with Rue. Because I did a CFOP solve last time. Yeah, not very proud of that. Oh, uh, 22. 22. Okay, I can read. 21.35. Yep, I, that, that, that just went into my short-term memory, mm hmm definitely, definitely can read, wait a minute, do you read numbers? Hmm, that's a good question, because you read words, but do you read numbers? I mean, like, they're written down, but reading implies language, numbers aren't language. Actually, that depends on who you ask. Whom you ask, actually. Yeah, you know, got, got to keep correct grammar in these random rude days. Wait, no. It's a random rude day. Therefore, I can randomly make whatever grammar mistake I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, probably shouldn't mention his name, but... There's this individual who constantly corrects everyone's grammar at my school. He's a very interesting person. And for the sake of, you know, not getting, like, demolished verbally <laughs> for making a who slash who mistake, uh, I have learned, actually, that was not the purpose of me learning how to use who and whom, I have incorporated my knowledge of who and whom, or at least tried to, in my day-to-day -day speech, which of course I just failed approximately, I don't know how many minutes ago, probably like two or something. <laughs> and yeah, you know, I'm not having one of these, another grammar rant on this, yeah, I, I wanted yeah, no, that's not happening. So, impeachment, oh no, 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 no politics here. Yeah, because tyrants are above such things, and I am a tyrant because I am tyrannical. Actually, that being tyrannical doesn't necessarily mean you're a tyrant, it just means that you're like a tyrant. But I am a tyrant because I said so, and whatever tyrants say is like, officially, the, like, what's the word? Not the truth. It's more like the forced perception of the tyrant's subjects. Yep. Definitely not advocating for uh, brainwashing of my subjects or anything. Because, you know... <laughs> 
that'd be immoral. Mm -hmm. And definitely want to stay away from those things because and that's quite most clearly indicated by a pair of scissors on, like, the left that were definitely used to cut paper and not, uh, you know, other things. Yeah, that's very specific. Yeah. Just, you know, give you a bit of room for imagination. Because that's a very useful tool for tyrant fear-mongering. Is that a word? Fear-mongering? Because, like, war-mongering is, like, you know, making war and stuff. But fear-mongering... Okay, wait, no, just... Scratch that again. Yeah. No more word usage uh, debates with yourself. Great job. Okay, yeah. I just referred to myself in the second person. If you haven't noticed, I do that quite a lot. Especially when I'm talking to myself. But in this case, I'm not talking to myself. Wait, I actually kind of am. But... From a certain point of view, I am not attack. I guess someone said attacking myself. That's not a good thing. Because that'd be like a... I don't even know what that would be. I mean, obviously, like, self-harm and stuff. But, like, because, like, attacking, you know... Yeah, that attacking is bad. Unless you're attacking your enemy. And I am not my enemy, because I am a glorious tyrant, and... The only enemy of a tyrant is, you know, other nations or whatnot. Other thingamajigs, yep, around the tyrants who wish to threaten the tyrant in some manner. Ooh, that's my, like, my one good solve. 11.35. Mm-hmm. It's actually probably, like, one of my best resolves. Haven't gotten a sub-10 resolve yet. But one of these days I will. Because, like, get a lot of rue practice from these random rue days. And I will learn CMLL in the form of COLL. Because, like, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was, like, the one cubing-related sentence that I have ever said in these random rude days. And, you know, this is supposed to be a cubing channel. Yeah, you know, I, I have been thinking about this a lot. Like, should I or should I not to be making these random rude day thingies at this, oh, another plus two, <laughs> at this rapid rate? I mean, like, I did an F2L, wait, did I do an F2L? I think I did do an F2L tutorial. And, you know, I'm gonna move on to OLL, right? Yeah, and PLL. And do a bunch of math about, wait, no. That's a different plan. Do a bunch of math for, like, how to become sub-minute or sub- Wait, no, I'm not doing that. How to become sub-30, sub-20, sub-15, sub-10. Except I don't know, actually know how to become sub-10, because I'm not sub-10. But I do know how to become sub-15. <gasps> I'm actually talking about cubing! Wow, how refreshing. And, okay, yeah, the, those videos will come, eventually. But, random rude days are just much easier. No, it actually depends on your definition of easy, because, like, OLL, I can literally just, like, you know, uh, go through a bunch of stuff, do, like, a PDF or some thingy, and slap a few algorithms on there, and, yeah, I don't think that'd be too hard, but, you know, gotta, but this is much more fun. Because Rue is fun. It's fun to solve with Rue. Because it's you actually have to, like, think. And thinking is fun. From a certain point of view. 
Unless you're taking a standardized test. Because those are boring. Like, they are the epitome of boredom. But, like, you know, you still have to take them because, like, you know, colleges and stuff. Mm hmm. <laughs> colleges! Yeah, those things. Mm hmm. Okay, how did this go from cubing to colleges? Oh, wait a minute, there was that. Okay, no. I'm not gonna elaborate on that. Except, not elaborating on it is gonna slowly just, like, eat away at my insides. Okay, that sounded so weird. <laughs> Throughout this entire theme jig, until I actually elaborate on it. But I'm not gonna elaborate on it. Because I shall, I, I will be a gracious tyrant, and spare you from that pain. I'm actually not sure why it would be that painful, but like, still, I will be a gracious tyrant. Mhm. Mm yeah, you're welcome. Not not sure why you should be thanking me, but like, still, I am graciously sparing you from that knowledge that I was about to inflict upon you. I'm not even sure why you wouldn't want to know, but still. <laughs> it, it was a U.S. National Seminar that I definitely went to, mm-hmm, because, yeah, definitely went to Nationals, and, yeah, mm-hmm, Nationals was really fun. I know, because I went there, definitely, because... I'm just that prominent and important that I, I went to nationals. Except I didn't go to nationals. Because I'm trash. No, that's not, that's not why. But I didn't go to nationals. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't go to nationals. And, yeah. Not sure what significance that would entail, but yeah, I didn't go to nationals. Didn't go to worlds either. Obviously, because I didn't go to nationals. Actually, there isn't really a correlation between those two, but just want to put it out there. Didn't, didn't go to worlds or nationals or any. Wait, no, actually, I did go to a big tournament. I just said tournament. By the gods. These. Debate terms. Yeah, I do. Debate. Debate's glorious. I'm just flew around my head. Uh, and I didn't go to a single good... Uh, I went to one big comp. It was the Southeast... You know. Cuban USA Southeast Championships. That was it. It was glorious. Got a nice sub-minute 4x4 average, which I definitely didn't already have, but I'm pretty sure it was a PB average. Just wasn't my first breaking of the sub-minute boundary. Ooh, there's a 19.12. That's actually not that bad. Actually, that was a... <laughs> not really that bad of a solve, but still not really that good. Now, watch as I just completely butcher this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Steam load on. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute. Did we already pass the DNF? I, I, I wasn't really paying attention to my solves. But let's see if we, there's a DNF. If there isn't a DNF... I know I did get a DNF because I'm trash. I didn't even know what happened that solve. <laughs> But I don't know whether or not it was earlier or later, and, like, because of my laziness, I didn't bother to, like, you know, look at the screen and actually pay attention to my solves, which I really should be doing. But should I, though? Should I? Because, like, the point of this is to, like, talk about random stuff, and show random rusols and I don't need to look at the solves to sprout out random stuff because I'm already very good at doing that since I've done like I've done two 20 minute long videos just doing that 
And this is the third. So I'm fairly certain I'm pretty adept at the skill, the ability. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but still good at it. It's like, actually I'm not sure what it's like, but I was like hoping to make a simile right there, but I didn't because I couldn't like think fast enough. And yeah, don't have a script. And no, we're not having this conversation again about not having a script. I'm not sure if I was addressing we as in me, be, I, I, and or if I was addressing we as in, like, everyone. Okay, that sounds so weird. That sounds like I have, like, dissociative identity disorder. <laughs> Which I don't have, by the way, because, like, you know, there's only, there's only one me, there's only one tyrant. But that's what I think. Okay, that, that, that sentence did exact, that, that sentence didn't exactly work at all, whatsoever. <laughs> or did it? Because people die when they are killed. Not not sure how that, like, links together, but they do. Because, like, you kind of have to die if you're killed, because, like, you know, part of the definition of being killed is, like, dying. And, yeah. This solve is... Oh, way og. No! I'm an idiot. The cube stand. In the background, just like to the right, next to that lamp thingy. Ah, oh, I forgot to rotate it so that it's not C-fop. Yeah, I have like, the, you know how like the cube stands have like three sides? Well, I have like stickers on it and like, you know, C-fop, Roo, and Yao the three methods that I use, and so, like, whichever two methods I'm using, I have those two facing front, and so right now, CFOP and YOW are facing front. Ah, I'm not Roo, because, you know, I'm, I was using Roo at that point in time. However, at this point in time, I'm using a CFOP. So I guess I can get, oh no, I can't get away with it because this is a random Rue day. It has to be Rue. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go back and film another, like, 40 or 50 songs. No, I'm not gonna do that. I need to practice for Caroline, no, not Caroline, Charlotte Winter 2020. Yeah. January, I don't even know what, on a Saturday, last Saturday of the break, and, yeah, I'm going there, yeah, it's gonna be fun, at 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, none of which I use Yao on, wait, what, none of which I use Rue on, by the way, actually, technically, from a certain point of view, I use Rue on 2 by 2 from a certain point of view. That is a very certain point of view. Because, like, you know, the method for solving the corners on a 2x2 two two isn't exactly the same as CFOP, because with CFOP you have, like, you know, th those insertion thingies, but it's completely different on 2x2. Two two. So, it's more like root, meaning that. And, and also CMLL. Mm hmm. On 2x2. Two Actually, it's CLL, because, like, you know, you can... I'm not gonna get into, like, these, you know, algorithm sets that I've literally spent, like, hours thinking about. Yeah, I've literally spent hours thinking about the most algorithm-efficient way to skip either OLL or PLL. Yeah. 
I was like, hmm, let's see, is it more algorithm efficient to do VLS and then PLL? Or to do some, like, edge thingy, like edge orientation thingy, and then do ZBLL? Or is it more important, not more important, more algorithm efficient to have an owl that inserts the FTL pair and positions, orients, and permutates the edges and then have an algorithm that solves the corners? I was literally doing the math in my head. I was like, hmm, that would be around 800 algs. <laughs> yeah, it was a very, uh, yeah. That was when, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do any of that anymore. I didn't actually come up with a conclusive result. Because now my, my, what I plan to do is just, like, you know, Learn some ZBLLs, learn some PLS, maybe some edge orientation stuff, and be like, oh, yeah, if I can do it, I'll do it. If I can't, oh, well. Not gonna spend hours trying to figure out the math of what algorithm sets are most efficient. And also, you know, it might be less move efficient, even if it is more algorithm efficient, because, you know, I'll go, oh, wait a minute, I think I've gone way over time. Oh, well, goodbye. This concludes Random Rear Day's number three. <laughs>